welcome back to the channel guys for another video which is the Radicator and today we are going to talk about Beam NG which is one of my favorite driving games out there why is it one of my favorite games it's because it's very realistic the developers are putting a ton of efforts into developing realistic physics and just giving you sensations as if you were really driving a car and that's especially true if you're driving with a steering wheel I'm driving with the 900, 929 true force from Logitech and uh, it's just getting better each uh, after each patch and so we had another major release happening yesterday patch 0 0.27 which added a brand new map called Johnson Valley that you can see right there and uh, it's featuring the longest straight paved highway around all of the maps that one I haven't had a chance to try but it has a, a couple, quite a couple of uh, new vehicles uh, the, uh, the dune kicker which I believe is the vehicle that I am driving right now some trucks as well and uh, it's pretty much a very off-road off -road based and that's quite of a difference compared to for example the previous one Italy which was more about uh, small narrow winding roads and fast highways at the same time uh, this one is really more about uh, some kind of sand environment heavily inspired in the, uh, of the uh, south of California and so with it as always with each major update come some challenges so I'm taking one of those here a time trial in which I have to go from uh, one place to another through all of these checkpoints throughout the sandy desert over there and it is quite a challenge so far I have not managed to beat that challenge and uh, very interesting because of course uh, the cars do break very easily in uh, Beam NG just like in real life right they do not try to have some kind of uh, arcade type of gameplay they want to stick to realism as much as possible and that's why you have to be super careful not to crash into rocks or not to take bumps that would be uh, too high and eventually would damage your bumpers or your steering right so you gotta have to be uh, really careful and one of the specificities of this map here uh, Johnson Valley unlike the other maps is because they wanted to have the most realistic off-road experience including driving on the tracks and the problem is that they did not manage they have not managed to realistically create tracks from a procedural generation point of view and so that's why all the tracks that you are seeing here on this footage were actually all manually placed uh, meter by meter and it took them a very long time to get this result but overall feels very satisfactory and really feels like I'm driving on some kind of uh, off-road dirt track it's really really uh, wonderfully done there now of course optimization was of course was uh, was improved here I there's another challenge just to show you how optimization goes and this is a challenge in the Italy map which was quite of an issue in previous iterations because of uh, how just dense this map is in terms of objects I've, I've had lower frame rates even with my brand new PC here which has a 370 um, RTX uh, but uh, sorry three which has a uh, an RTX 370 170 Ti but and, and, and 32 gigs of, of RAM uh, but uh, with this new update for the very first time I have managed to get well above 100 frames per second in fact 197 frames per second in Italy uh, which is uh, quite something uh, pleasant here I really had a ton of very fast driving sensations doing those challenges and uh, yeah if uh, you were off put by the previous iterations of beam ng because you thought that maybe the frames were not high enough performance wasn't there it's really something that they've improved in this past patch so you really want to be checking this out here uh, they have a couple of extra new missions as well including collection missions uh, so you might want to check it out as well if you're enjoying mission and uh, they've also added gas station and refueling so apparently uh, gas station and refueling is a thing on a couple of maps including Johnson Valley and also West Coast USA which is where you have the career as well right now it still is in prototype uh, version but apparently if you're driving for a long time the, the fuel gauge will be working and you're gonna have to refuel your car at the gas station because again it's a realistic type of gameplay so they want to be making this as realistic as possible in real life you have to refuel so in the game you're gonna have to refuel as well uh, they also thank us here at the end of their uh, patch note by thanking us for supporting beam ng they've been developing this game for 10 years already 
But uh, given how complex they want to push the simulation, then obviously uh, it's still going to be in early access for a very long time. We're still at patch 0.2 something. So yeah, uh, there's definitely a lot that they seem to be wanting to be including over there. But uh, it's great to see that things are coming along pretty well and uh, you know, new content, new maps, new cars. Um, if you're interested in a realistic driving, That's definitely something you may want to consider if you want to be supporting a project like that. Anyway, guys, that is all I had to say about BeanNG Drive, the latest update, uh, point 27. So yeah, feel free to check it out and I'll see you guys later for more content on the channel. It's been the Eradicator. See you guys later.